at YouTube. Just wanted to go over. I'm gonna be in autopilot most of the way to work this morning, so uh, just want to have you guys ride with me and show you what percent of my drive is autopilot. So, just got started out here, um, and as you can see, we're not, right now on four lane road. Um, this isn't a big highway or anything like that. There's a couple traffic lights on here, and I'm gonna see. Uh, is how it does. There should be some traffic up here, um, and so you guys will get a first-hand experience of uh, what it's like with autopilot and how it makes driving in traffic a lot easier. So I'm going to get out of autopilot here, enter the turn lane. I'll be a good citizen and put my turn signals on. And we're off in front of this traffic. Everybody's behind us, if you can see through the rearview mirror. Probably pretty hard. Alright, so we're going to re-engage autopilot, and we're going to set it up to 50. Of course, as always, please keep your hands on the wheel, as it says. And now we're going to see if navigate on autopilot. So we have that illuminated. So I'm curious to see what point of the drive is going to be on autopilot. So I like that this last subway update, you can see this car right here in my blind spot. Um, which is right over there. It, that's a. At first, it took me a, a little bit to get used to. I thought this, you know, like the Tesla car was so small, but I really liked um, what they did there because they added, you know, a lot of functionality and basically gave you a 360 degree view of everything around your car. This is a uh, pretty big highway that has a couple stoplights here, but as we continue up, there's gonna um, there's no more stoplights. So I'm curious to see once the stoplights go. There's so after this one coming up here, um, there's two more stoplights. So let's see what happens uh, after we pass that second stoplight, uh, or I guess this is gonna be one and then two and three. So. Now, after we pass this coming next upcoming second stoplight, um, that's when I predict that the navigate on autopilot is going to engage. But we will see. So one more traffic light coming up. That's what I think. Um, so, speed limit increased a little bit, so we'll just hit this uh, stock bar up a little bit to increase the speed. So here comes that last traffic light that I was telling you about. So we'll see if it engages right here. There we go. So navigate on autopilot is now on. Um, so I guess it'll do it once there's no stoplights. Um, and so right back there was the last stoplight on this road. Um, and then this road will go all the way up into another major highway without any stoplights. Um, and so I think that's like the requirements for uh, navigate on autopilot. So right now we're in Navigate on Autopilot. You can tell that uh, because of this straight line here. Um, so rather than there being two blue lines on either side of the vehicle, kind of outlining the uh, lane line, um, there's just one single line going straight forward. And so the difference is it's gonna give me lane suggestions 
So this lane, uh, this line is going to change and give me a lane suggestion um, if you know traffic was a little bit slower in one lane. And as we get up here, I'm going to try and give you guys an example of that. Probably here in a little bit, it's going to show us. And so, if you're wondering what software update I'm on, so you can see uh, <laughs> this guy was starting to come over, and the car saw that and braked. So let's uh, get over here in this lane. Uh, what I was going to say is. If you guys are wondering what software update I'm on, I just got the update uh, to 2019.8.1, uh, so not noticing any noticeable improvements uh, as far as autofile goes yet with this software update. traffic is kind of light today so it's not giving me many suggestions you know down here again I really like you can see this car right here you know and you get a picture of the car here um, very helpful where the car is right now in my blind spot um, so it's super easy you know you look down uh, and you see your car and you see all the cars around it, uh, which is really nice when you're on a crowded highway. Um, great job, Tesla. So I'm coming up here on my exit and I want to see uh, what it's going to do as far as so. I'm, Again, I'm in Navigate on Autopilot, and so the car knows that in less than a half a mile, I'm gonna be taking the exit up here. So I'm curious to see um, what the car is gonna do, and if it's gonna automatically change lanes into the um, exit. Well, here we go. So I'll put the turn signal on, and there it goes, right into the exit lane. Auto lane change unavailable. Okay, but we're, we, as you can see, it got off the highway and now it's in the uh, lane change. Okay, so now it put the turn signal on by itself and got into this particular exit rather than going straight. That was pretty cool. Okay, so navigate on autopilot is now over. So I uh, hope you guys were able to see back there that um, it actually put the turn signal on for me and took the. Um, Go ahead and disengage autopilot. But it took put the turn signal on for me and took the, the exit for me. That was uh, very impressive. So I didn't even have to turn the turn signal on at all. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up um, and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.